Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on one of a set of four Halloween themed dolls that I made for the Etsy shop. They are available at the time I'm making this video. In the description box below is the link. So this one I wanted to make in some green color. I rooted her with some alpaca yarn and in the colors of blonde and green. And so her costume is green and black. So it had been a while since I'd worked on some Ever After High Girls, so I was excited to get started on a set of those. I really enjoy working on them because their face sculpt is a little flatter and I can just make, I can use a lot of liberties with the shape of the eyes. So for this one I wanted her eyes to be a little bit squinty and sort of evil looking. So after a few coats of Mr. Super Clear, I shaped the eyes in white and then did the black for the upper lid and crimson red for the waterline. So I've done a couple of dolls with green lips and green eyes and I thought that I would give that a try on an Ever After High doll, which I haven't done yet. So using the green pan pastel, it's like a sort of a yellowy green color to match the costume. I laid in the lips and using a grass green Derwent watercolor pencil, I colored in or sh sharpened up the, the lines on it. I also used some darker green colors in the corners. All of the supplies I use are in the description box below along with affiliate links. The affiliate links are set up so that if you make a purchase using that link, we will get a small percentage of the sale. So any sales through that are very appreciated. So I'm blending in some watercolor pencil in the bottom lip, some white watercolor pencil to give her a highlight. And I'm darkening in those corners a little bit more. I love how those lips turned out. So doing some contouring with some shades of Sienna, uh, Burnt Sienna, Pan Pastel. And then when I do the squinty eye, this allows me to go kind of crazy with the eyeshadow. So I was excited to, I usually make the big round eyes. So I was really excited to do some sort of design with the eyeshadow on this one. So I did sort of three layers. I did a dark crease. And then for the base of the eye, I did like a um, sort of a yellow green and then a white highlight and carried the yellow green and darker green from the contour or the the crease into the bottom lash line now i'm darkening in the crease there with a green watercolor pencil And for the blush, I used a little bit of the pearlescent pan pastel pink and mixed it with a little bit of red and I think that's it. I'm laying that in there with my Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow 
brush that I got at the Dollar Tree that I used for all of the blushing. She is definitely one of my favorite face-ups that I've done in a long time. So because her hair is blonde, I'm going in with a little bit of white to lay in the base of the eyebrow. And then I'll do some shading in with different colors of watercolor pencil. So I think this is like a brown ochre or a yellow ochre. And then like an ivory. So there I'm using a Derwent Metallic watercolor pencil. It's kind of like their Derwent Ink Tense, that where it's more of a, a ink pencil than a watercolor pencil, I believe. But these do work really well with blending. They blend well with the regular watercolor pencils and they just give like a very bright metallic-y color. I, I just love that set and I never, rarely get a chance to use them so I was happy to use them here so I'm using like a green and a gold color I had to reshape that eye it was kind of a little bit wonky Using some Faber-Castell brown to blend out that eye a little bit. Now I'm adding some um, some shimmer powder in green and yellow around the eyeshadow. And we're getting close to being done. Some photos of the after look are in the at the end of the video. So if you like this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Hope everybody has a great day, great October, and happy Halloween. Bye.